Hello. In this interesting problem, we're going to look at a function that is differentiable and continuous, but whose derivative is not continuous. Here we have the function defined as x squared of sine 1 on x, when x is not 0 and 0 otherwise, and we will first demonstrate that it is differentiable. We'll get continuity for free, because a differentiable function is necessarily continuous. And then we'll be in a position to look at df dx, and we will observe that it is, in fact, not continuous at x equals 0. Let's begin. First of all, the functions x squared and sine of 1 on x are differentiable. x squared is differentiable for all x, and sine of 1 on x is differentiable for all x except at x equals 0. So most of the points we get for free by virtue of the differentiability of those two functions for almost every point x. Since x squared is So if we get half of this function is differentiable for all x and sine of 1 on x for almost every point x except at x equals 0, then this function times this function is differentiable for all x except x equals 0. Great, we've got almost every point on the real line for free. Well, not for free, by virtue of this function and this function. All we need to do is check what happens at x equals 0. For we only need to check that the following limit exists. That the limit, that the limit as h approaches 0 of f of h minus f of 0 over h minus 0. We need to check that this exists. And if it does exist, fantastic. Then the function is differentiable at that point. Then, well, f of h, that's just the limit as h approaches 0 of h squared sine of 1 on h minus f of 0, which is just 0, over h minus 0, which is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of h sine 1 on h, which, as we know, is equal to 0. And if you didn't know that already, you could use the pinching theorem to deduce that. Good, so this function is differentiable at all values of x except 0 and also at 0 too. So the function is differentiable everywhere. And because it's differentiable everywhere, it's also continuous everywhere. Good. We are now in a position to talk about this function df dx, which we know exists for all x, but as we're about to find out, it's not continuous. And we're back. We have just established the existence of this function df dx, but as we're about to find out, it's not continuous. If x is not equal to 0, then df dx is equal to d dx of 
this top function here, x squared sine 1 on x, which we evaluate using the product rule. That's 2x sine 1 on x, and then plus x squared times c negative 1 on x squared cos 1 on x which is equal to 2x sine of 1 on x minus cos 1 on x. Behold the derivative of f. What happens to this function as x gets small? Well, we've seen already that this will go to 0, but this does not have a limit as x goes to 0. So since the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x sine of 1 on x, that one will be equal to 0, but limit as x approaches 0 of cos of 1 on x So this limit's okay, this limit exists, but this one doesn't exist. And if I try and add something that exists with something that doesn't exist, the sum doesn't exist. Minus. Recall the definition of continuity. The function df dx is continuous if the limit as at the point 0, as x approaches 0 of df dx at the point, well, at x is equal to df dx evaluated at 0. This is what it means for a function to be continuous. We've carefully avoided talking about what this might be because we don't care. This limit doesn't exist. So there's no value that this could possibly take that would make this function continuous. The function can't be continuous because this limit does not exist. So we've seen a function which is continuous everywhere, differentiable everywhere, but whose derivative is not continuous at the point x equals zero and in fact cannot be made continuous at that point because this limit doesn't exist. Thank you.